The Japanese government has provided funding for a large-scale beach conservation project in Bali. The Japan International Corporation Agency has been assisting the Indonesian Ministry of Public Work and Public Housing in their efforts to protect Bali's world-famous beaches. The project, which began in 2017, is now in its second phase. The Japan International Corporation Agency is pumping a second wave of cash into the initiative, which will enhance Bali's environment, social, and economic well-being. The Bali Beach Conservation Project, the first phase of the Bali-Japan Partnership, focused on enhancing conservation strategy and implementation for Sana Beach, Nusa Dua Beach, Kuta Beach, and Tanalot Temple. Beach conservation activities will be expanded in Phase 2 to embrace coastal ecosystems as a whole. Phase 1 has come to an end, and an audit has been conducted as per the initial agreement, and all parties are happy to move on to Phase 2. The Central Indonesian Government and the Japan International Corporation Agency have signed the contract to fund and implement Phase 2, according to a statement from Petuedi Purnawijaya of the Bali River Basin Center's Water Source Network. The project's goal, according to the website of the Japan International Corporation Agency, is to restore portions of Bali's coastline that are facing rapid erosion, seawall collapse, and beach recession. Sand nourishment, rebuilding of seawalls and structural reinforcements, and increasing the capability of Bali's coastal management system are all conservation initiatives. The project's second phase is expected to be finished by the end of 2022. Another effort that the Indonesian government wants to highlight at the G20 summit in November is this one. This type of relationship is made possible by the G20 summit. Because Japan is a G20 member, there will most likely be a presentation and workshop at the summit to showcase this project to other G20 members. Japan has provided a loan of 1.2 trillion Indonesian rupees, 824 million US dollars, to Bali for the delivery of the plans. Despite the epidemic, the initiative persisted, and both the Japan International Corporation Agency and the local Bali government are certain that the project's impact has been favorable thus far. Despite the size of the loan, it is not astronomical in terms of international relations. This investment and project will go a long way toward assuring the climatic resilience of Bali's beaches. This has significant economic implications, including the preservation of coastal livelihoods. Basuki Hadimul Jono, speaking on behalf of the Minister of Public Works and Public Housing, said that Phase 2 of the project focuses on reducing the environmental impact on tourists visiting Bali's beaches. Because tourism provides for such a large portion of Bali's revenue, the project must be implemented in such a way that the sector's recovery from COVID-19 is not hampered. Although necessary, breakwaters, sea walls, and other coastal control techniques may detract from the pure attractiveness of Bali's beaches. The team is keeping this in mind as they build new coastal management techniques that do not detract from the natural beauty of the environment, whether on land or on the coral reefs immediately offshore. The start of the second phase of the Bali Beach Conservation Project coincides with the announcement by the Bali government that the island's single-use plastic ban will be fully implemented by the end of 2022. Plastic pollution is becoming a bigger problem all around Bali, not just on the beaches. The island is known for its environmental efforts and green credentials. The Bali Beach Conservation Project benefits from the prohibition on single-use plastics. Both of these measures are critical to preserving Bali's natural beauty and charm. A holistic strategy to protecting Bali's most significant assets to tourists is provided by a combination of community-based conservation through public awareness campaigns, volunteer projects and community participation, and large-scale government partnerships.